Uh-oh, seems like Wufu is having a nightmare. Did you know why we get nightmares? Let knowledge click. A sleep cycle has three main stages. The first is lie sleep, when you resting but can wake up easily. The next stage is deep sleep. Last is REM, rapid eye movement. Sleep when your brain makes dreams. Nightmares are scary or upsetting dreams created by our brain when we sleep. When we sleep, our brain keeps working. It shorts and organizes the memories from the day, like cleaning up a bunch of toys. This is when the brain is most active, which can trigger dreams or worse, nightmares. Oh no! Nightmare happens for so many reasons. Stress from work. Relationships. Or anything that scare you during the day can also lead to nightmares. Eating late at night can make your brain more active while you sleep, which might cause strong or even scary dreams. Nightmares are completely natural. If you can avoid them by doing a few simple things. Uh. Don't no. watch scary movies. Hmm. Avoid eating too much after 8 p.m. Go to bed with your favorite toy or near someone you love. It helps your brain feel calm and safe. Stay tuned for our next exploration! Don't let your dog eat chocolate! Mm. Do you know why we shouldn't let your dog eat chocolate? Let knowledge click! The chocolate we eat is made from cacao beans. Cacao beans contain some dangerous stuff for dogs and cats, like caffeine and theobromine. When people eat chocolate, they might feel more energetic. But dogs process these chemicals much more slowly, which makes them easily to get poisoned. Besides chocolate, there are other foods dogs shouldn't eat, like avocado, onions, garlic, and coffee. Dogs are often curious about strange new foods, so we need to keep a close eye on them. Mm. <laughs> so what if a dog accidentally eats something it shouldn't? If your dog eats something bad, tell an adult and call the vet right away. <laughs> That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes. I want to fly like a bird. How can you fly, Dr. Hoot? Do you want to know the secret of birds? Ah. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you. Let knowledge click. Birds can fly thanks to their special body structure, strength, lightweight, and speed. 
When birds flap their wings down, their wings look like upside down spoons. They push air down, and that helps them fly up. Airplanes also use wings shaped like this. Birds keep their wings steady and use their tails to steer and stay balanced. Mm. Oh. Flying must be super tiring. Why don't birds ever get tired wings? <laughs> That's because birds have super strong chest muscles. A bird's bones are hollow inside, like a straw, so they're super light. Thanks to this, birds are very light and can easily fly up into the sky. However, not all birds can fly. Take a close look at these birds and guess which ones can fly. We know these birds can fly. Sparrow, eagle, wild duck. That's right. And birds like ostriches and penguins can fly. But they are excellent runners or swimmers. We got it. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. You want some water too? You silly! Fish are already in the water, so they don't need to drink. Some fish do drink water, and some don't. Do you want to find out why? Yeah! <laughs> Let knowledge click! Do fish drink? It depends where they live. Salt water or fresh. <laughs> oh! Yeah! For fish that live in the ocean, the water is super salty. More salty than the fish body. So the water inside the fish try to live and go out through its skin and grills. If the fish didn't do anything, it would dry out. So, ocean fish drink sea water all the time to stay hydrated. The sea water is salty, so the gills and kidneys have to work hard to push the extra salt out. Fresh water fish are the opposite. River and lake water has less salt than their bodies, so water keeps sneaking in through the skin and gills. They don't drink actually. They need to get rid of extra water. Their kidneys are always busy. Now, let's try putting each fish back into the right habitat. Blowfish. Catfish. Dad and I once caught one at the lake. <laughs> Clownfish. I know this one. It lives in the sea. Oh, yeah! Well done. I believe you learned some facts about fish today. Oh. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Ow! Discover everything around us on Wufu Explore Channel. <laughs>